expect we have the governor uh, online. Please forgive me. So we're being joined by engineer Suleiman Abdullahi. He is the governor uh, of Nasarawa State, just to get his reaction to today's judgment. Uh, good evening, and thank you for joining us on the program. Well, I think it's only fair to begin by asking what your reactions are uh, to today's judgment. So let's start it from there. How do you react to that judgment? Well, uh, first and foremost, we would like to thank uh, the Almighty Allah to see us to the end of this legal process. I would also want to use the opportunity to uh, thank uh, those who have taken us to court in order for them, you know, to prove our democracy if it is working. So indeed, we can see that our democracy is working. We hold no grudges whatsoever against the people who have taken us to the tribunal and all the way to the Supreme Court. We believe if they did not understand what happened during them. So in my prayer statement that I have done, I say, okay, we have gone beyond all. Now it is time for us to get together for the benefit of our people and the benefit of our state. For me, I see this as democracy in action, and I strongly believe that our democracy is working in Nigeria. So we have gone beyond this under what next? So I want to thank the people of Nasarawa State for giving me the mandate. I would like to now use the opportunity to call on the opposition so we can go from there. That is my message. Right. Now, I, I understand that the issue of electoral reforms still is a major talk uh, in national discourse. I mean, I was just discussing with Mr. Oyekwere and Mr. Eno. So I'd like to ask you, people feel that if elections were deemed free and fair, then there will be no need for litigations and what have you. So on one hand, what is your take on electoral reforms and in what areas do you think we should reform our elections? I strongly believe that uh, we do need electoral reform, and I'm in support of electoral reform. Uh, I think our election reform is continuous. You know, if you remember, we didn't have card readers. So it is as a result of electoral reform that we have card readers. So at least now we have more authentic elections than we want to have. But it can be more authentic. You know, by the time our system is working, our ICT is working, and the People are educated and people understand. It's an opportunity to serve. Then all these uh, elections where people use a lot of other incentives, you know, to buy their elections into power will come to an end. So I think those are the areas. I think we need to take out monetary aspects of elections in our own elections. So once we do that, and then all the probably and the rest of that, that what will drive that is actually ICT. You know, so once we are able to graduate and then have proper ICT and then we have authentic elections, you know, I strongly believe that, you know, the number of uh, petitions will be reduced. I okay. don't think they will be eliminated in Nigeria because there are certain people in Nigeria that unless they win, the election is not authentic. You right. Know, so you still continue, we, are, we are going to continue to have those kind of people. So you, you Governor you Abdullahi, we continue the conversation surrounding the judgment by the Supreme Court, which affirmed the election of eight governors across the country. And we still have with us on the program, joining us via phone from Saudi Arabia, the governor of Nasarawa State, Engineer Suleiman Abdullahi. Uh, thank you so much for staying with us. Now, before we went on the break, uh, I was going to take you up on the issue of governance, which is ahead of you. I understand that about this time, two weeks ago, you submitted uh, the appropriation bill for your states to the National Assembly. And the big question is, how do you plan to fund it? I understand it's about 100 billion naira. So what are the plans to fund this budget? And where are we with the budget in process? Well, over 90% of the budget is going to be generated. It's not actually no. It's going to be generated from our internal revenue, you know, our internal revenue, which has improved from less than 10 billion to what we have in the budget today, over 26 billion. Uh, and most of what we are trying to do is going to be around our land management. Because of our community to the federal capital, you know, we are doing a lot of the certification of our land. We are, doing, we are having new companies that are coming. You will see last week. We have most of the major industrialists in Nepal State, you know, the chairman of Dongote, chairman of Boa, chairman of Flamings, and, and the minister of trade. We are all in Nepal State, you know, looking at more and more industries. 
Uh, those are the areas that we are beginning to see more industrialization in the state. So there are this area of revenue generation that has improved significantly. Uh, we are also uh, seeing our PE that has improved significantly. And they, of course, the balance of it is going to come uh, from the federation account. We have about $8 billion that is going to come from uh, facilities, you know, loans that we are taking in case our, our our revenue does not get to the level where it's supposed to be. So those are the areas that uh, we we are looking at uh, the sources of uh, funding the budget. All right. Uh, I think that's a great place to leave it. But we'd like to thank you so much, Engineer Abdullahi Sule. He is the governor of Nasarawa State. He joins us via phone from Saudi Arabia. And